<laughs> What's up noobs? Welcome back to another devlog episode for Punch a Bunch. These last couple of weeks have been very busy. Let me bring you up to speed. We've been repainting the bathroom. We've been looking at a bunch of apartments as we're trying to move. I am sticking to my daily run schedule, but uh, it's a little late. I even opened a Discord, it's now fully running. We've got tons of members joining already, but more on that later. And so now if you're thinking, oh, Ponty, that sounds like a lot. You probably didn't have much time to work on your game then, huh? Well, then you would be wrong. Let's take a look at what I've done. All right, so as usual, I set up some goals on my Trello board for the week. And uh, uh, actually, uh, some of you mentioned that you didn't want me to spoil the episode ahead. So uh, one thing at a time. The first thing on my list to do is Particles. I've probably seen a thousand comments at this point asking for particles, so let's do it. The idea is that we want to add some sort of particles when we land a hit to accentuate the impact. We can see this in a game like Tekken. Obviously, this is so over the top and I don't think this type of stuff would suit Punch a Bunch, but I think it's still a great source of inspiration and at least a starting point for us. I've never used Unreal's particle system before, so I started in the example scene Unreal provides and went from there. I just started playing around with it to try to figure out how it works. Okay, I, I see why you guys wanted particles now. Is this enough for you guys? Is this good enough? Should we add some more? Whoa! Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> okay guys, here we go. Can you do this in Unity's particle system, huh? Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this uh, particle system now. It's, it's, it's actually really good, it's cool. What? Oh, great. I think I know where this is going. What? <laughs> what is going on? Help me! What have I done? Whoa, this is like the coolest thing I've ever done. Whoa, that's cool. I mean, I don't think we can put anything like this in the game, but man, that looks cool. So much for not going over the top. I don't know about this. I think let's just start over. Something I've been thinking about is adding like some sort of trail to the gloves. You know, like a streak after you punch. I got something working pretty quickly. I'm just spawning little spheres constantly on the glove. I wanted to create some sort of distortion happening as if the punch is so powerful it's bending space around it. It's like a black hole. Cool. It's looking a little uh, watery or something. It I think I'm just kind of like, just kind of like, um, just kind of, um, just kind of tweak. Tweak just a little bit, just a tweak just a little bit. Maybe if I just perfectionist mode engaged. No, stop! I refuse. Do you ever get that? You're working on something, and then you just want to tweak that one little thing just a bit, and then all of a sudden, ten hours later, everything looks the same, and you've just been pulling sliders back and forth. <laughs> Uh, let's not do that. I got it working pretty quickly. It was actually a lot easier than I thought. I also added just a hint of red in there. The idea is that it'll take on whatever color your gloves are. Since I got the distortion working, I also wanted to try adding a shockwave effect. Similar to what they did in Tekken. 
See that? I mean, it's subtle, but I feel like it really helps to sell the impact. I really want to be careful not to overdo it, but I'm hoping this will look really cool in the end. Getting this to work the way I wanted to was a little bit tricky, but not too bad. I ended up running some sine waves through a radial gradient, and that seemed to work pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this result, and I'm ready to move on to adding some more stuff in there. Okay, I have an idea. We gotta check this out in slow-mo. I have a feeling it's gonna look pretty cool. Ho <laughs> ho ho ho! Wow, that looks cool. Man, it's so visible. I didn't like when it's real time. I don't I barely even see it, but it's definitely there. That's cool. <laughs> that's fantastic. Man, that's so cool. All right, I think that's a great start. I've been looking at animes and mangas, and I really like the little icons and stuff they use to portray actions and emotions, and I love the idea of adding something like that as an element to our game. I'm still using the particle system to create these, but I'm reducing the spawn rate to just like one or two, adding some velocity, a lot of drag, and no gravity. In this way, they just kind of pop up like this. It looks soft, see that? They're like the, they look super soft, like all blurry. Is it my texture? I mean, it should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna do a little thing here. I'm gonna pause. Let me grab a little screen grab here. Put that in Photoshop and... Yeah, yeah, look at that. What the hell? Like that? That's the way it's supposed to look on, on the right. Why is it so crappy looking? I spent a lot of time trying to figure this one out. A lot. <laughs> I was trying different resolutions, different filtering, turning off filtering, nothing was working. Because I've tried like rescaling the textures, changing the filtering, importing different formats, JPEG, PNG, everything. I, let's just look at this again. You know... You know what that looks like? Shitty denoising. It's blurry when it's moving, but then as it stops, it kind of gets sharp. Like time-based denoising, anti-aliasing or something. You know what? Let's, let's look. I, I think, okay, <laughs> let's have a look at something. Oh, what? Look at this. Okay, temporal anti-aliasing. Oh, why didn't I check this earlier? Damn it. <sighs> okay, I'm willing to bet my eyebrows that this is the problem. Oh, well, would you look at that? God damn it. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> yeah, good thing I only spent like five hours on that. <laughs> LOL! LOL! Alright, hey, at least it's fixed. Great! <clears throat> Man, that took a long time though. I should have, I should have checked that. <sighs> Anyways, all good. <laughs> suggested to add some sort of text like pow, pop, boom. It's sort of like a comic book effect. I love that idea, so let's try it. Getting a little hard to work around here. Right on my mouse pad. Higgy, is that comfortable? Whoa! Yeah. Ah. I do like that. It's really cool. It feels very uh, Marvel. You know, but I gotta say, it, it, I don't feel like the comic book stuff blends very well with the anime stuff. Like it, it just doesn't fuse very well. But okay, here's what we can do. So you know how, I don't know if you played Tekken, but if you haven't, when you customize your character, you can customize the punch effect, 
right? So you can choose what will show up when you're punching and obviously you can unlock more and stuff like that. Uh, and maybe we can do something similar for Punch a Bunch where you can choose, you know, if you want the more anime inspired ones, we can have the comic book ones and we can have some lightning and other stuff, right? I think that could be really cool. Obviously, we don't want to make it distracting. So I don't know, let me know which ones you like here. I feel like the comic ones, they're cool, but they're a little big and obnoxious and I'm just not sure that they're right. So, but I'm really curious to see what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think this is pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm really happy with this. I feel like we struck a good balance. It's not too much, not too little, but you know, it's effective, but not too distracting. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. So obviously, based on how hard you're hitting, you'll get a varying degree of all this stuff. Like when you land a really powerful hit, you're gonna get all the particles, the camera shake, the maybe some screen blurring effect. But then when you land a jab or something lighter, you're gonna get way less, if even anything, just to kind of really contrast that. And I think that's gonna be a great way to indicate how hard you're hitting. Also, of course, we're gonna add screen rumble. Anyway, so that will also be a way to indicate how hard you're hitting. And that kind of leads me to the elephant in the room. Damage. I feel like I've been talking about implementing a damage system since episode three. And it's not that I forgot. Believe me, I've been thinking about it this whole time, but I just can't come up with a straightforward way to do it. See, I've been trying to get some sort of number from the ragdoll, like how much force is being applied to the head, and then we could use that as a way to tell how much damage we dealt when we punched, but I can't really seem to find any way to do that. I've also, of course, considered just assigning a random number, like say between five to 15 damage for a hook, and then seven to 10 for a jab, or you know, something like that. But that just doesn't really feel fair to the game. After all, this is supposed to be a physics based game. So applying cheap RNG values to your attacks, it just doesn't really seem to make sense for this game. I've been back and forth with this. I've been looking at different websites, reading forums, checking videos. Yeah, I'm still not sure. What do you guys think Morgan would do? Oh, by the way, that reminds me. <laughs> I was reading the comments the other day. What? Anyone else chuckle at him showing the logo at 25 just to blur it in the next clip? Lol, are you kidding? What's up noobs? Welcome to another devlog episode for Punch a Bunch. In this episode, we're gonna finish up our attack system, try out some rope dynamics, and design a logo. Ah, uh, <laughs> no! I completely missed that. I did not see that. Look. Logo. I did not notice that. I watched it like a thousand times. Did you did you see it? No. Five five quid kid. Epic pegboard for you. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. <sighs> Congratulations, man, you made it. Now go tell your mom. You just completed your life's purpose. See, the epic pegboard is a bit elusive. Never really know what might get you up there. Not even I know. You're gonna have to surprise me. Okay, back to our damage system. How we calculate damage is such a fundamental part of this game. It has to be good. I just couldn't push this aside anymore. We need that damage system to be able to continue development of the game. The stamina system is hinging on it. Our health bar is hinging on it. I really want a working version of the game where you can play against a friend. But until we have this damage system in place, that's impossible. And at some point, I'm not gonna lie, I legitimately thought that this was the end of the road for Punch a Bunch. Until lightning struck my little new brain and the muses finally spoke to me. Okay, I got it. Just let me, one moment. What we could do is to just check how fast the hand is going at impact and then use that as damage. The faster the glove is traveling, the harder you hit. But that could quite easily end up being chaotic and just feel random, especially looking at something like this. <laughs> I want the game to feel more intentional. I want the player to feel like they are in control. If we look at real boxing, the power comes from the ground. You turn your hips and lean into the punch for maximum power. Remember last episode how I built this system that can detect which way we're leaning? 
I was gonna use that to determine which attack to trigger, but as you know, that didn't really turn out. But I decided to repurpose this system with some slight tweaks. The first step is to understand when the player is leaning. We're gonna use this motion to amplify our punch strength. I put a little arrow here to visualize how this is gonna work. Don't worry, they won't be in the final game. <laughs> it's just for now. You see how swinging around the boxer's body is building up energy in the arrow, and then when you stand still, the energy sort of deflates. Okay, so that's great. We can use this as a sort of multiplier to how hard we're gonna be punching. If you lean your body into the punch, you deal more damage. Okay, but we also need to know if the player is actually leaning in the direction we're punching. It wouldn't make sense to amplify the hit if you're leaning away from your opponent. So next, we're gonna add a red arrow. This is gonna be the direction the glove hit the opponent. This way we can tell where the punch is coming from. To make things even more confusing, I'm gonna add another arrow. I know, just bear with me for a second here. This will all make sense in a second. The blue arrow represents where our green leaning arrow was at the point of impact when we punched. So it just freezes in place where the green arrow was when we punched. I'm gonna remove the green arrow just for now to make things a little less confusing. Okay, so now we can see when we land a punch, which direction the body was leaning and which direction the punch landed. We can now compare these two arrows to see if the player indeed was leaning into the punch or not. To do this comparison, we're gonna use something called a dot product. That's right, I know what a dot product is. I actually learned about that in the Unreal Engine C++ course with Ben on Udemy. Links in the description. I won't go into detail on how a dot product exactly works, but essentially it'll allow us to compare the two angles. Awesome. Now we know if we're leaning into the punch or not. Next we have hand speed. I think we definitely should take the speed the hand is traveling into account. Otherwise, what if the hand is just gracing the head and it's registering as 100% hit? That just wouldn't make any sense. I built a little system that detects the speed of the hand and also adds a light smoothing so that we don't get any crazy values. The teal arrows on each side indicate how fast each hand is traveling. The next and last thing we need to think about is how far down did the user press the trigger button? A light tap should deal less damage, but also of course cost less stamina, and if you hold it all the way down, it should be a full swing. Well, that's a simple one, because we already have that working. And now to the tricky part. Ah, you thought we were done. Lol. Now we gotta take these three things and combine them into some sort of damage number. And I hadn't really gotten this far in the thinking process. I spent some time trying to come up with a formula to calculate the damage, and then I realized... I suck at math. <laughs> Life is so unfair. What's up? I can't do it, it's too hard. <sighs> hard stuff is not easy. Hard stuff is not easy, she says. That's gotta be like the statement of the century or something. Hard stuff is not easy. Okay, I've got something. Check this out. You probably don't care too much, but if you do, Here's the formula I came up with. We take the glove speed times the leaning magnitude times how far you held down the trigger. It would look something like this. Cool, let's try this. Oh man, that's cool. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, this works. This is actually, I, I, I think we might need to tweak the numbers, but I think it works. I can, I can predict how hard I'm gonna hit. Like it, that's kind of the point. But yeah, this is a great start. I'm actually, this is great. This whole thing has been on my mind since, I mean, basically since I started this project. Oh man, I'm so, so happy we finally have something working. This means we can get started on a, a, a health bar, a stamina system, knockout animations, and soon we'll be able to activate the second player so we can actually play locally against each other, which is so exciting. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about Discord. I finally opened the gates to our Discord server this week. We already have tons of great people in there. We even have some mods. They're amazing and super nice, so be nice to them. And obey them. They can kick and ban. So yeah, join in and let those Ziggy memes flow. It's a really great community and you really should join. We've already seen some fantastic fan art, cute animals, and epic memes. But okay, one thing though. You guys gotta promise me that you'll still leave me some comments on my videos because, you know, I need that Google algorithm juice. So join in, but don't forget to comment on my videos, okay? <laughs>
Anyways, if you want to join the new barmy, all you gotta do is click the link in the description. There's gonna be a CAPTCHA bot just verifying that you're human. When you join, you'll get a message. Just reply to that with the code you see. And if you type in the wrong code, just leave the server and rejoin and you'll get a new code. So I think the next step is gonna be to make the health bar and start working on our stamina system. But that'll be in the next episode. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bro Punch. Mm -hmm.